Hi everyone and welcome back to my morning report chart appraisals for Tuesday the 26th of August with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantac Markets. I'm going to move on to Dolly Yen now and the Dolly Yen had a, that strong move higher and yesterday we had a big red candlestick and that just suggests that perhaps a little bit of profit taking is beginning to come through. You've had this move on Dolly Yen with the RSI up at 78. Now that is a huge level and again I will say that I think that that just suggests that we have had a change of out, of, of outlook for this um, for the dollar yen chart and I think that this ultimately will mean we're going to see further gains in due course but near term I think you might see a bit of profit taking and a bit, a bit of a slide in this dollar yen. Now where could we come back to? Well you've got a nice band of support around 103.50 if you broke 103.50 and then you're back towards 103 figure again. Now that 103 figure, I think that is the key level that we need to be holding above. I don't think necessarily 103.50 is too important, but I just think that as this RSI unwinds, which I think it will do, then I think 103 big figure becomes an important level because that is the key breakout, I think, um, on this chart and I and if you start to build support between 103 maybe 10350 I think that that would be deemed to be a very good buying opportunity uh, on a medium term basis for this dolly end chart but I think very near term I think you're seeing a little bit of consolidation perhaps even a bit of profit taking which may well put as I said pressure on this 10350 mark um, that we saw as the reaction low from f last Friday and uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, we do see this coming through because you've got slight corrective uh, outlook on these m hourly momentum indicators. You could argue bearish divergences on the uh, RSI, MACD and also stochastics. Um, MACD lines also now back below neutral so that would suggest a corrective outlook again. RSI pushing towards certainly the lowest it's been throughout that big rally higher so that would again suggest a more of a corrective outlook coming through on the RSI so several indicators would suggest that perhaps we are going to see a bit of a correction now but it just depends on exactly where that begins to find support again um, but yes I think we could see uh, just a, a drift back towards this one at 350 mark anyway I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later